Hi everyone. Um, I have a couple of projects here that I want to share with you. Um, when I, uh, when Irene and I uh, had that um, swap, uh, lace roll swap, she gave me um, these paper bags to alter and also um, some of these beautiful napkins and i have been working on them but i i haven't had just the chance to make the video to record the video so here it is she also gave me this beautiful bird cage uh the bird cage was just simple um and i added um this um uh, bird nest flower and a little uh lace uh ribbon rose and with my Martha Stewart punch, um, the butterflies and the leaves, and this uh, trim here in the bottom, and I color um, the top in this uh, hook here with my um, antique gold paint. So I rub the cage with a little bit of my uh, Distress ink just to tone down the color a little bit. So, um, I, and I painted these three little, uh, buds here, um, pink. So that's what I did. I added some seam binding. So this is my first assignment <laughs> from, from Irene. I hope you like it, Irene. And thank you. Okay. And then with the bags, I've been playing around and... Just to quickly show you, give you some um, inspiration. Um, this is the uh, paper napkin. I just decoupage it and um, added some paint um, around the border to, to frame it. Then I use this trim and this flower that actually Irene made. She sent it to me and it looks beautiful, Irene. Thank you. So very pretty. And then I have this other one here. Um, I like to flip uh, the flip close the paper bags to the front or towards the front. And another one of my roses. And this trim here. And then this is another one. This is another different napkin. Very shabby. Again, the trim in the bottom. And I adhere one of these I am roses to the to the clothespin. And also this one, um, I closed it, flip to the uh, the front. And um, another one here with the same of the first uh, the first napkin I show you. And I'm recycling this uh, uh, ribbon here, and this trim from Hobby Lobby, some bling, and an acrylic button in the center. And then um, I have these two here these are um, just a background stamp one of my flowers and some seam binding and kind of the same here thing he same thing here so um, that is that um, then um, I went a little uh, more uh, rustic <laughs> I love love birds so um, I just stamped this bird here, this image, and this uh, wood button, and um, the rosette trim in the bottom, and then um, this beautiful um, trim here on top, and um, the lollipop flower and the nice stamp. So that looks that looks pretty cute. This one opens um, the other way, so close it like that. Okay. Um, then um, I went a little more organic. Love to play with my stamps. And with these uh, bags, um, I think these are uh, meant, uh, were made for food, right? Um, because um, they resist the ink very well. And if you use your chalk inks, they work wonderful with this uh, kind of uh, material so she also gave me um, this stamp so I had to do something with it and I stamped this bag with my initial very pretty and I also 
make this one here just for a quick fold on the top and there is a stamp in the background I don't know if you guys can see it it's very light um, then I have this other one here with the chandelier also opens like this love those stamps then I have the glasses these are right now very popular I had to make <laughs> something with that stamp and then the mustache had to make one with these and then she also gave me these um, stamp so I had to make that something with that one and I make this one right here so just I just stamp the image and use seam binding very pretty and let's see we have more here okay so here is this one it's just a stamp with uh, the trim and the acrylic button just simple and pretty and we have this one i stamp uh, the hydrangea uh, multiple times with the blue chalking and then I use one of these, um, she gave me one of these stickers. Um, she gave me a couple of these uh, packages. So this is one and I use this trim right here, the brown trim. And then one of my uh, flowers, beautiful pink flowers. So I love the way it looks, brown, pink, and blue. It looks really cute. And then... Um, last but not least I have this one here also this is another stamp with the trim and um, another one lollipop flower so this is really pretty and I've been uh, having a lot of fun altering this she also gave me um, small canvas bags like this one and um, so I altered this one right here I just uh, cut this flower from one of the um, napkins that she gave me I stamp in the background first then I decoupage the napkin and then I glue these um, Eiffel Tower so this is gonna look pretty cute when I use it so um, and then also since we are talking about bags um, I made this bag this bag I bought at Hobby Lobby is one of those uh, bags they have me me and my bag I think it's the brand so what I did to this one is I added this flower here that I made with muslin um, just very rustic flower and it's big big um, then um, this little uh, I actually punch an eyelet um, punch a hole and run an eyelet through um, this uh, through the bag and I added this charm, this is um, Arty Cake Charm, and I added this uh, drop here in the bottom. I love this one, I love the, the antique look of the metal. And then I also made this charm over here on the side with a couple of beads and this key and hard copper color. And then this um, applique here, that I use in the inside so it goes covers the front of the back and then in the back I just added this uh, trim across just to keep it simple since this is the side that is going to be uh, like rubbing against my body so um, then this is um, the inside I just want to have a little fun so um, I decided to um, add this little bird here and this is just tissue paper um, I added this bird it's part of the stickers that Irene gave me and then I added this mirror these are just the round pieces that you can buy find at Michael's um, I put some trim in the back and um, just this uh, trim around just to frame it so that's what I did and here you can see the eyelet and here um, this is where the charm is attached to is hanging from that eyelet 
and this is how it looks so i love it it's really fun and i have a couple of more bags that i need to alter so um i hope to have more time in the future to play around with my my bags i love doing this and also soon i'll have more an update on my um i share a video where for my planner so um i think the new one is about to come out or it's probably out already i'm not sure i'm gonna go check and then i start working on my 2014 so i can't wait to do that so thank you so much this is uh been a fun week fun and busy week for me so i hope everybody's doing well thank you so much and have a beautiful day bye